Hi, it's Charlene again. I really hope you enjoyed the card that we made using all of the products in the Magnolia Lane Suite. I told you it's my favorite. So today we're gonna to make another card and we are going to focus on this card that's right here. And you'll see by the size that this is smaller than the typical four and a quarter by five and a half card. However, I have adapted it and made it an actual four and a quarter by five and a half. So it fits in our standard size envelopes. So it's really easy to case, copy and share everything from the catalog. If you don't wanna make it that same size, you can make it the standard card size and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. So I'm gonna show you how you can use the catalog and the samples in the annual catalog as an inspiration, as a, as a starting point for you to create your own card. So if you look at this sample here on page 36, you'll see that it's, it's probably a three by three square card that fits in our three by three envelopes, but I wanted to make it four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half, our standard size greeting card, because I like to make packs of 10 cards and give them as gifts and I also sell them. So I wanted to, I use this as my starting point and I made it look like this. So I'm gonna show you how I made this. We're gonna use some Stampin' sponges today and I'll show you how I got these little edges like that. So we're gonna take Whisper White cardstock as our base, eight and a half by 11 cut down to four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. And then we're using this side of paper from the Magnolia Lane suite. And I'm going to, all of these products, by the way, that I'm using today are on page 37 of the annual catalog. And you'll see right here, this is the Magnolia Lane designer series paper. We're also going to be using the Magnolia Lane ribbon combo pack, some Stampin' Blends, and the stamp set, of course, and the thin dies, and some other products, which I will list down below in this video. Okay, so let's take our snail and We're gonna attach this to the front. And let's see. And then let's try to get it nice and straight. What you guys can't see behind the scenes is that it's about to storm here really badly. We just went through Hurricane Dorian, just feeder bands from that. And now we have a tropical storm coming. Okay, then on top of that, I'm going to put a piece of vellum cardstock. You'll see how it gives it a beautiful accent piece and it really highlights the magnolias on this pattern of designer series paper. And this I've cut to, let's see, it's four and three quarters by three and a half. So that I'm going to put on here and I'm going to put my snail in the middle because I don't want it to show through. And that's where you'll see it'll be hidden because I have all of this in the center. If I put my snail up here or down here, you'll see it through the vellum. So I put my snail in the center to make sure it's covered. Okay, and then I took my oval dies and I used my Big Shot or you can use whatever die cut machine you have. And this is three and a half by two and a quarter is the size of this oval. And I'm gonna show you how I did this on the edge. You're gonna take your stamping sponge and I cut mine into quarters, or you can even cut them smaller than that if you want. So here's one that I've used and you can use it again and again and again. And I'm taking my Mossy Meadow ink classic pad and then I'm just going to dip the sponge in there a little bit and then just flick it around the edges of the oval and you'll see that it gives it a really nice um, antique shabby chic kind of look makes it look a little warmer than just the stark edge of 
the die cut shape. So that's it, all there is to that. That was easy, right? And going to adhere this with my snail. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the thicker ribbon from the Magnolia Lane ribbon pack and just fussy guess cut the size by laying it on the card. And be sure that you have a really good pair of scissors that you only use on your ribbon. And that way it will, they will always stay sharp and they will always, always, always cut your ribbon uh, precisely. But if you use your scissors on paper and then on vellum and then on heavy cardstock, light cardstock, and then try to use it on the ribbon, it's going to be a disaster because it's going to, they're going to get dull. But I've had these for, I don't, I don't know, um, 10 years or more, and they're still as sharp as the day that I got them. And I keep this on there because when I hold classes, it's just a reminder for people to know to only use these on ribbon. They cannot use these on paper. Okay, so I am going to adhere this just with a piece of scotch tape. And then I'm going to fussy cut measure. Um, I made this into like a little bow, but I didn't tie the bow. I just made it like that, gave it some heads and tails, and I'm gonna lay it on top of there and also adhere this with scotch tape. Okay, so let's set that aside for a second. And I used, hold on. Let me close that up and find this fabulous punch, which I'm going to get the page number for you from the catalog of where you can find it. It is the Taylor Tag Punch and it's on page 187 of the annual catalog. It's this punch that's right here. And it's great because it fits around. Um, each one of these three sayings from the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. So that's a great investment, the Taylor Tag Punch. And we are going to use the Hello stamp, which I've already done to save some time. I've stamped it and punched it out. And we're gonna use the same technique around the edges of this. And there's probably still, yeah, there is enough ink on there from the first time I juiced up the sponge, there's enough ink to do the same thing to this and antique it. Okay, now this I adhered with dimensionals and this card is so beautiful. I can't stress enough, I've said it a jillion times, if you follow my blog, stampinwithcharlene.com, that this is probably my all-time favorite uh, designer series paper stamp set. I love the color combination. I love the designs of the flower. Uh, I love the emotion that the stamp set brings. Uh, I don't know, it's just right up my alley. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in the center with my dimensionals. And then I'm just gonna take my snail and you'll see how I placed the magnolias. Oh, let me show you again how I colored these in. Let me just put this one down first. I just put one there. Um, okay. I used the Stampin' Blends. I used the light mossy meadow, the bronze, and the light petal pink. And just, excuse my arm. Use the paintbrush side. You're gonna see my cat's head in a second, because, what? come on baby, come on. Okay. Um, just paintbrush in 
around the lines, wherever you feel like it. You know, don't overdo it. It just gives it a really pretty blush color. And then the stem. And the leaves. And I love coloring. It is so relaxing. I just want to stamp things and just color them all day and night. What is it about that that's so relaxing? Are you guys with me on that? Okay. So these two, I'm going to adhere to the sides with Oh, can you guys hear the rain in the background? It started um, with dimensionals and the way I'm gonna do it is just put dimensionals, I'm gonna flip it over and just put dimensionals on one side of it. So this side is the side that pops up. Put that there. And then on this one, I'm gonna do the opposite side. And put dimensionals right there. Okay. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna stick that. I wanna see that this little tail coming out too, so I'm just gonna stick that right there. And when you stick them down, be sure you don't go over the edge of the card because you want it to be able to fit in your envelope and not get smushed. So there you have it. This is a way that you can take a card from the catalog and make it your own. Use it as inspiration, but turn it into your own design. Beautiful, right? So be sure to follow, subscribe to this channel, follow me on samplewithcharlene.com, and I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for joining me today as I showed you how you can adapt one of the samples that's in the Stampin' Up! catalog to make it fit with things that you already have. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't ever miss a video and follow my blog at stampinwithcharlene.com for lots of fun and easy card making ideas.